So today, I'm gonna talk about everything that I can't stop wearing lately. My go-to basics, most worn pieces in my closet, whatever you wanna name it, just things that I can't seem to get out of my rotation, okay? These things go into the washing machine and onto my body, like I, I can't stop. So I'm gonna talk about these things back here as well as everything that's on the rack. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So starting off with tank tops, if you guys aren't new to my channel, you probably know how much I love tank tops. And I have a specific type that I like, these sort of like higher neck, ribbed tanks are my jam and i have talked your ears off about my redone tanks okay i have worn those things to death here's one of them and it's still in such good shape for how many washes this thing has gone through okay both this one and the black one are in amazing shape the black one hasn't faded at all i don't dry them in the drying machine, I air dry like 90% of my clothes, but very good quality. So this doesn't really have a ton of stretch to it. It's that cotton that feels like the Hanes sort of tank tops. And it does have like a line down the back, which I feel kind of differentiates it from other tank tops that I've used. And a tank top that's very similar to that one that I recently discovered because I did a... Uh, sponsorship with this brand this video is not sponsored but they did send me this for another video that I had done and I <laughs> I love 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 this tank top I like the fit of this tank top even more than the redone one I have worn it so much in the short amount of time that I've had it and I really wanted to mention the difference in fit so I like the fit of this one more than my redone tanks i want to get this one in black and like in every color it comes up a little higher like on the pit area and it just it's an overall more flattering fit it's more stretchy because the material is different so depending on what you want we got two options here i am going to get this in other colors half of the things that i have back here i have in like two or three different colors so next up i have the shirt that i'm wearing and i also have it in white and i love this cut of shirt this is probably my favorite cut of shirt ever i think it's super flattering and it's one of those cuts that's very easy to dress up and dress down it looks very elegant you can also put it off the shoulder if you want you can unbutton this a little more or button it if you want such a flattering fit and i just love the quality of joa brown pieces a lot of the things that i'm going to talk about in this video are kind of like investment basics but i love them and wear them so much that i've already gotten my money's worth so yeah if it's in this video it's because i really wear the heck out of them and i really recommend them so yeah these two tops can't get enough of them can't get enough of them so this I've talked about so many times on my channel it's not even funny i pull this out every single spring and summer well into the fall months as well because i just love the fabric and like the fit of it i feel like i've tried other button down like oversized shirts and they're not as good as this one i do want to go thrifting for some in like different colors and fabrics but i haven't found some like on the market that i love as much as this one so this is a linen oversized shirt and I got it from Four Isle. I'm not even sure that they are still in business. I'm not sure. I'll try to look for it for you guys and I'll try to look for alternatives to everything that I'm talking about. It's such an easy thing to wear. Things like this that I can just throw on any simple basic outfit and add dimension or add like something else to the outfit is my favorite thing ever. And since it's so hot here where I live, breathable materials like this that i can just roll up the sleeves and it's like airy you know it's not something that's gonna make me sweat two seconds into putting it on i get a lot of wear out of these things so i've recently gotten very into wearing longer shirts uh to wear with leggings or to wear with biker shorts so i got this one from Kos, but i mean you can find something like this literally anywhere it's just a long shirt and since i'm tall 
and I have a long torso, it's kind of hard to find long shirts that fit nicely. <laughs> so in terms of fit, it's not like the best fitting long shirt in the world, but as far as what it looks like after I style it and like I throw a purse on, like a crossbody or, you know, like the whole finished product, I really love how it looks and I've been wearing it like crazy. But this one's more unique because it doesn't have buttons. It has this like V cut and it has a huge pocket, which I like. But again, you know, you can find whatever style you like and suits you. So if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you would know that I have a little bit of an obsession with Pangea. Uh, pricey, but personally, I get so much wear out of these that I justify it. Like, I already got my money's worth out of all of the pieces that I've purchased from Pangea. So I have a bunch of these long sleeve shirts. I also have a sweatshirt from them, which I recently got. But in terms of what I've worn the absolute most lately, these long sleeve shirts, I've just worn to death. Like, nine times out of ten, I'm wearing this around my house and you can wear this with jeans you can wear this with biker shorts leggings matching shorts like literally everything i love it so i have this in a couple of colors and i recently got their shorts and the only reason that i'm talking about them even though i recently got them is because again uh i ever since i got them have not taken them off like this is all i wear around the house they go from my washing machine onto my body and back. Like, I just, I can't. If I'm in my house, I want to throw these on. So another piece that you guys have probably seen me wear to death are these Isabel Morant uh, Etois shorts. I think that's how you pronounce it. I also have them in black, but they're dirty right now. So I'm showing you these. I just, I really love how casual yet dressy they can be like they will make your very very casual outfits look more put together because it's just like this utility style it comes with a belt it is like a baggier short so it kind of balloons out you can cinch it at the waist with the belt but it balloons out a little bit so it adds more interest to your outfit again investment pieces but for the amount of wear that I get out of these shorts I just I, I I justify it and they're unlike any other shorts that I have in my collection so for pants I have these trousers which are just my trousers from the Frankie shop which I got altered these were meant to be very loose fitting but when I got them I think last year I got them altered to like cinch me at the waist and these are my most worn pants year round okay they're very flattering obviously you can just go to a thrift store or any store get some wide tailored pants and there are just so many ways that you can style them and they're always going to look chic you know they're always going to look like you tried but these are just like fancy sweatpants. And if you don't feel like wearing trousers because it's just not your style or maybe it's too hot or whatever the case is, I have these pants which I'm wearing, which I'll show you guys in the close-ups. They are from the lobby. I got them on the lobby. The brand is Less Set and I can sit here all day and talk about them. They are the most comfortable pants that I have ever tried in my life, okay? Probably more than pajamas and they're perfect if you're on the taller side i don't know i've tried pants like this before from other brands and i just didn't it it wasn't as flattering as these these are just like the pants that you put on and you feel confident in them from any angle they sit you at the waist but they're wide enough everywhere else where it just kind of like drapes out you know it's not like sticking or clinging to anything on your body that might make you a little self-conscious with these kinds of very like soft pants. You know how sometimes they can just cling on to everything. These don't do that. They look so flattering. Uh, and some of you have told me that you bought them after I filmed my video where I talked about them and that you love them too. So lately I haven't really been wearing jeans. I haven't been wanting to wear tighter fitting anything. Okay, like I just, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can do it ever again. But again, you know, you find those loopholes, just jeans that aren't that tight, 
that are comfortable, you know, more looser fit, maybe longer, wider, whatever it is, just comfortable. Every, every basic that you have, you should always have a comfortable option. You know, you have your tighter option if you want to go for that, but then you also have your more comfortable, more relaxed option. So these are it for me. Uh, these are my Citizens of Humanity. I think these are the, yeah, these are the Anina Trouser Jean. I have it in like the lighter blue color. And I think these are in general, not just like currently, I think these are my most worn jeans in my closet because they're very versatile. So since they are wider on the leg, they look very good with heels. Since they're longer, they look good with heels as well. So I can dress them up as well as dress them down, you know, throw some sandals on or some sneakers and just a plain tee or tank and we're good to go. So I've been wearing these like crazy. Again, they're like the sweatpants of jeans, not as comfortable as sweatpants because they are jeans, but very, very, very comfortable for being jeans. I am going to talk about some new jeans that I recently got in a favorites video. I talked about them in my vlog. You guys can check them out. I didn't include them in this video because I recently got them, but I know that I'm going to wear those like crazy. So stay tuned for my favorites video at the end of the month where I'll talk about some new jeans that I got. They're from Levi's. And finally for clothes, I have these biker shorts and I picked the white because all of my other ones are dirty, but these, uh, I think they're like the seven inch biker shorts from Aritzia. I'll link the exact ones down below, but I have these in like three colors or four. If it's not the stuff from Pangea, I wear these shorts like crazy around the house. I prefer even longer biker shorts if I'm going to dress them up. Like the one that I recently talked about from Bandier. I'll link the video where I showed you uh, some minimal outfits that I've been wearing lately. But I wanted to talk about these because in terms of like what I've worn the most, these are definitely it. I'll also link the longer ones down below just in case you want something that you can also dress up or work out in or, you know, it's just more versatile when you get something that's a little longer, in my opinion. So for bags, lately I've just been into things that I can just throw my whole life in and call it a day. Obviously, I have other bags that I wear all the time that I love, but these are my most worn. So the first one is this tote bag, just tote bags in general. Canvas tote bags, I've been very into. I also have one from Museum of Peace and Quiet, but this one is from Orson Iris. And it's just like a circular canvas bag. I'll try to link similar alternatives in the description because I'm not sure if this one is still available, but really been loving it and wearing it like crazy and the other bag that i've been wearing lately is this one right here which is from loewe and it's a basket bag that i can also throw my whole life in and it is definitely something that adds so much more interest to your outfit the canvas bags sort of do but they make things look a little bit more casual so yeah this is what it looks like up close I've talked about how it's such a beautiful shade of white. It's not like a traditional stark white. It's like a very beautiful, like luxe looking shade of white. Almost has like a beigey undertone. So yeah, and I can fit so much in here and it's so easy to see what you have, which is one of my favorite things ever. Like I'll just have it in the car and I could just Put my hand in and pick whatever out so lately with having to wear masks and stuff you don't really want to be putting makeup on because you're just going to dirty your mask you don't really want to put so much effort into the top half of your face because you can't really you know you're going to be hiding the bottom half so glasses that hide like half your face uh, are something that i've been very into so you guys know how much i love these these are just my saint laurent glasses the style is SL276 Mika or Mika, and they're just like the cat eye style. Don't wanna put them on, don't want to mess up my hair, but yeah. And another thing that I've noticed with this style, like this kind of shape, is that it really dresses up literally any outfit. Like even if you're not wearing it on your face, if you just put it like here, it dresses up and accessorizes your outfit so well. So now moving into shoes, 
I'm gonna talk about some other ones, but in terms of what I have worn the absolute most ever since I bought them, like have not taken them off, like have to force myself to wear something else. These right here, these are my Proenza Schuler Birkenstocks and they are just my favorite sandal at the moment. Things that are just slip-ons that you can just throw on and it goes with everything. At first, I was a little iffy about the white stitching, but I've noticed that the white stitching makes it even more wearable than if it was all black. So that little touch was actually something that worked out in my favor. So if you don't want to spend this much money, I do have my other ones, which are a fraction of the price. Um, they're just the all black uh, rubber Birkenstocks. They also have like the all black leather Birkenstocks, but I like these because they were a little bit more unique and I'm very very happy that I got them. They fit true to size and they're also very very comfortable. For being such a stiff chunky sandal they're incredibly comfortable. Not as comfortable as the regular Birkenstocks that I've worn to death. I wear those mostly around my house. These are just like a fancier looking cooler looking version than those. So I wore those so much that I decided to get these. The next shoe that I want to talk about, you guys have probably seen a million times as well. They are my A6. These are the gel 1090s, uh, the white ones with like the little black detailing. These are seriously one of the most comfortable sneakers I've ever tried. So I have different sneakers for different things. I have like three sneakers that I wear the most. These are just more versatile than my Ultra Boosts and my New Balances. I can just wear them with a lot more outfits and they're also incredibly comfortable to work out in. Very, very good if you're into jump roping. These are just the best running shoes that I have tried so far. It's like you're barefoot, like they're just so comfortable. Um, so yeah, and they also look very nice with a lot of different outfits because they're like so sleek and they're not too bulky. So I've been very into flip-flops lately and I've just been wearing them with everything. I have always been a little bit more into casual clothes. <laughs> um, I just get a lot more wear out of them. So I'm happy about all of these like very casual things just being integrated into style you know even though flip-flops have never really been out of style i'm just happy to see them more often these are reef sandals and they're incredibly incredibly comfortable and lightweight and just like i did with my birkenstocks i do want to get like a nicer pair of flip-flops i just haven't found any that i love and the ones that i do love are out of stock everywhere so yeah, for now, been wearing these and love them. And I don't know, they just go with everything as well. They're just like the Birkenstocks, but like a daintier version. And I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but they do have so many nicer, like dressier platform style flip-flops as well, if you're not into these. And finally, for jewelry, I have three pieces that I wanna show you, and they're all earrings. Now more than ever, like I just, I really want my earrings to make the statement if my outfit is just so <laughs> freaking plain. So first ones are my Young Frank earrings. I, I, I don't even know how long I've had these for, and ever since I bought them, I've just, I find it so hard to take them off because they make such a pretty statement without being too much and the toned down like brassy gold is also very beautiful uh, i also have my newer ones which i've been wearing to death which are from oma the label which are kind of like a link chain style earring beautiful you know makes a statement nothing over the top nothing too crazy but a very interesting piece and if you guys have been following me forever, you know that like 90% of my jewelry is gold. I love gold jewelry, but I recently started dabbling into silver. So the silver earrings that I've been wearing to death ever since I got them are these from Love AJ. Kind of like more toned down uh, silver. It's not so like chrome, you know. And then these are probably my favorite earrings that I've purchased in a very long time. These are from Octave Jewelry. And again, look how dainty they are when I show you them from here. 
Like, you can't even see that. When I have this here, like, you can barely see that I even have them. But then when I turn around and it kind of, like, hits the sun or the light, so, so, so pretty. And a lot of you asked me if these are lightweight. These are probably the lightest hoops that I own. The ones that I'm wearing now are a lot heavier than these. So yeah, those are all of the pieces that I have been wearing the absolute most lately. Really, really love and recommend all of them. And like always, I'll try my best to put more affordable options or alternatives if I can't find the actual pieces. I will put all of that in the description. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video.